You know what's better than one skylight? Two skylights! <laughs> <laughs> first skylight we figured out a bunch of things that we could do more efficiently and ways that we could work smarter yeah, we're learning every time we do something the first time is always going to be a little bit rough because that's like your figuring out time we made a skylight a DIY skylight and we really love it and we thought we'd just break down the steps and show you what we did We looked at a lot of options for skylights, RV skylights, pre-manufactured skylights, house skylights, but none of them would really work in our space the way we wanted a skylight. So we just decided we'd build our own. We knew we wanted skylights in our kitchen area because we thought it would be just really welcoming to be able to walk into the bus and see this nice bright light in the sky coming down. We checked to see where the beams were on the ceiling and how we might build a frame there. Uh, but we also needed to make sure, which we learned the hard way, to check the roof so we'd know where any obstructions or any rivets might be on the roof before we planned out our frame for our skylight. Once we had decided where we wanted our skylight to go, the next step was to cut a wooden frame. cut it out to fit the space and we had to make the one side curved to fit the shape of our ceiling. We had to cut out a little bit on either side of our frame. That's where the beam of the bus is riveted to the roof. And we had to cut out another little extra piece here because there's a conduit hole that sticks out of the beam at that point to make it fit, so. So this is a side piece. We did have to cut out a little lip here again for where the beam is riveted to the roof. Next thing we went ahead and did, it was spray paint our frame. We used a little Rust-Oleum. Check and make sure your Rust-Oleum sealer is good for wood, but it, it will help seal up that wood since that wood is gonna be directly in contact with the roof metal. Next, we cut the polycarbonate to the size of our wooden frame. recommended to use a small blade with a carbide tip for cutting the polycarbonate. Next thing we did was we went ahead and drilled holes through our polycarbonate and our frame. This became the pilot holes, so we made sure that our drill bit was small enough that our screws would still bite into the wood. When we were done with that, we went ahead and removed the polycarbonate because we needed to make sure those holes in the polycarbonate were actually larger so it would be secured down without the screws splintering or webbing the carbonate itself and we had to take into the consideration that the polycarbonate would move a little bit with changes in weather on the roof as well as vibrate since it is a moving vehicle. So next we want to go put a wooden frame up against the ceiling and mark off the inside of it where we want to cut the metal roof. Now the part that makes me really nervous, we're gonna cut a hole in the roof. There's no do-overs in this part. It's important to wear hearing protection because it's so loud. I used a diamond blade on our 
angle grinder to cut the aluminum roof. It cuts through it pretty smooth, but I'd be sure and have a backup blade because this blade cut both of our skylight holes and it is now getting dull. We're gonna put the wooden frame back up in place <laughs> and make some pilot holes through the wood into the frame. able to find two and three quarter <laughs> we were only able to find two and three quarter length wood to metal screws we had to drill with a pretty big like a half inch drill bit into our frame so that our wood to metal screws would reach our metal frame the next thing we're going to do is glue and screw our frame into place for the glue, we've chosen uh, polyurethane. It's a window and door sealant, and it will adhere to both metal and wood. With our frame securely fastened into the beams, I'm now gonna take an angle grinder with a sander disc on it so I can just smooth out that aluminum edging so that it meets the same side of the frame and try not to dig into the frame wood. I think it actually looks better than the last one. It's nice and smooth at the edges. So our next step is to put the plexiglass into place and uh, go ahead and drill our pilot holes through the metal and through the wood. We got our pilot holes drilled into the metal of the roof. Now we're cleaning the plexiglass and now we're using the Henry silicone paint to put between the metal roof, which is already painted with Henry's, and the plexiglass. Is that the right way? Yep. Now that we've got our roofing screws in, our plexiglass is secured to the roof. We're gonna go ahead and hit the edge and create a seal around the rim and onto the polycarbonate with the Henry's silicone glue, which is rated for not only gluing to our Henry's paint, but rated for bonding to polycarbonate. And then just to be safe, we're gonna completely cover our roofing screws with another sealant. And this is a sealant for windows and doors. Uh, the specifications say you can use it on metal and polycarbonate, and that's our goal. Nobody's gonna be seeing it from the top. It doesn't really matter to us what it looks like on the top. Um, on the inside, once we've put our ceiling in, we are going to put a nice metal frame over the wood so it'll look nice on the inside. All right, why'd you wait till the end to pull the plastic off? Just in case we missed any glue. We didn't want to have glue spots on our nice skylight. <laughs> Let's go inside and take a look. We love how these skylights really open up the space and let in so much light. 
were really happy to report that the seals are strong, we had no leaks, and they even withstood some tornado force winds and rain. I think Don is a lot more comfortable cutting into the metal of the bus now, so we feel a little more confident. We were like, well, let's try one skylight, see how it goes. And we were like, yeah, this worked. So we did two, and now we might do a third one in the bathroom, and we've got to put a fan in, so I think we feel a little more confident that we can do oh, You know what we should have done? What? We should have, like, before we do the skylight, go, oh, imagine if we put a skylight there. Here, what do you think about putting a skylight in here to let in some light? I think that'd be really nice. Let's use our magic powers. One, two, three. Whoa! So much light. There might be a lot of outtakes. That'll go on the... The Rehabba tribe behind the scenes. Oh, that's right. Stuff we uh, cut out because we're too corny. <laughs> Not done with the demolition. We, we lied. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that method's gonna work. We're now at the point in the build where we're juggling multiple projects trying to keep things moving. But we'll share that with you next time.